all kinds of emotions just came up into my mind. And I, it's like so excited. And then I, I, I start to think about the, uh, the next year, the new project. Actually, it's a job. It's not just a prize. It's not just uh, some money given to you. It's that you have a really tough, challenging job to do in a completely different culture. And you have one, only one year's time. And this is a very challenging and attractive ch uh, opportunity, I would say. Yeah. It's, the, it's a sense of uh, free space uh, that is very friendly to people. Uh, and there's n never a point where you find this building is trying to show off itself. It's just try to be generous, try to be friendly as a space, as an environment for life to take place. I learned about it actually uh, two years ago, right after the tsunami disaster, when Teo Ito went to the GSD at Harvard and gave a lecture about the disaster and uh, his idea of buildings something like a gathering space, very small, uh, for these people who had lost their home during the disaster and had to move to those uh, very tiny, uh, crowded, uh, temporary houses. Because it's a completely different culture, and completely different lifestyle. This is not an urban area. If it's an urban area, we are more or less similar lifestyle from Tokyo to Shanghai or Beijing, which we can still imagine. But in this fisherman's community, their style, lifestyle is so different. And I don't speak Japanese, so it's kind of difficult to really understand, to communicate, communicate with them. And finally, produce a design that can make them happy and satisfied, and then they can allow me to really build it in this really important location of their everyday life. So this is very challenging. Well, designed and developed uh, not very easily because from the first sketch to the approval of the design, we made like 10 proposals. And I like many of them. Uh, but I had to compare between them which design really fits their lifestyle At first, they are not that uh, into it because they are even even in Japan, in this region, they are not very familiar with the contribution of a like a creative architect. They are familiar with just uh, ordinary houses, uh, which is ready made for them. But uh, to start this discussion, I think it's also a new thing for them. So at first, it's not very easy to make them talk, but eventually, people. We had actually three workshops. The first time, there's only like three or four people uh, attended, and then the second time we got like 12 people. The last time we got like 30 people, and people are willing to talk, and they are more interested in the models and drawings. They are more familiar with way we present our projects so yeah it, it's it got better eventually I think it's a uh, uh, it depends on, on time because I think architecture is just a, a instrument 
for us to think about uh, to think about our lives and uh, to provide solutions because uh, during the history each period of time we have different problems I think architecture is this kind of instrument to always question uh, the status quo